Hello, Dollyverse. This is Gypsy. I have a video review for you guys for one of the dolls that was sent to me by our good friend Tevin. And I will put up his Instagram information here so you guys can go follow Tevin. Um, this is actually a Fresh Squad doll. And this is the back of the box. Where you can see some new characters have been added to the mix. I think... I don't know who all the names of the characters are because I don't really follow all the Fresh Dolls characters. But anyways, um, yeah, I, and I have some of these dolls. So let me show you what the boy looks like. The one that we got sent is this guy right here with the long braids. And here we go. That's how he comes packaged. So you can see that it says brought to you by a positively perfect over there in the corner and here is the rest of the box it says the fresh squad deluxe set i am malik so this character is malik and i'm gonna take the doll and everything out of the packaging because there's always a little glare in the package that i really don't like on camera but i just wanted you guys to see how he was packaged very similarly to how the girl dolls were packaged, as well as Barbie dolls. Alright, so we have Malik out of the box, and I will show you his details very soon. First, let me show you what else was in the box. So we had a little jacket here. Just a plain black. It feels almost like a... Um, well... It's not satin. It, it's just, it reminds me of like those bonnets, the satin bonnets they sell that women wear to like wrap their hair up. It's like kind of like that kind of material, but a little bit thicker and not as stretchy, but it does have a stretch to it. And this, actually this jacket probably would look good on even the female dolls. We'll try them on. So, and it also came with this little laptop that opens and shuts like that. And it's got hinges, like a real laptop, which is pretty neat. Um, this actually is probably the most realistic laptop I've seen from a manufacturer for dolls. Barbie, I think Barbie dolls have like sets that come with little laptops too, but I don't know if there's as detailed as this one. So that's pretty neat. And then of course there's the screen saver there that says fresh on it. And then we have some black shades. These things are solid black. It's black plastic. You cannot see through the plastic at all. So once it goes on his face, I mean, they're pretty heavy duty shades, guys. I have managed to get the glasses on his face, but I am going to say they're really tight. So you have to be careful because they can just pop right off of his face and go flying somewhere else. But that's how they look when they're on properly. Pretty good looking and then um of course like how i like to do with my dolls because i normally wear my glasses in my hair so i always try to stick them in their hair so they don't cover their faces up but sheesh this is really hard to get in there i'm telling you you guys what's up with these glasses these glasses do not like this doll's head all right it's struggling with his head mold but anyways that's how those look and then it also comes with a teeny tiny little phone and judging by the size of this phone in comparison to the doll's hand I'm gonna say this is gonna be a Samsung Note 9 because <laughs> it is massive and that's actually what I'm using to film this right now so I'm feeling that okay all right so those are all his accessories now let's get into the actual doll itself so the box does boast that it has 13 points of articulation, which is the same level of articulation that I believe Ken dolls have. And we are going to test that right now. So he's got his head, of course, the neck joint there. It does not pivot so well. Uh, so I, I don't know about that one. Whew, the pivot is not happening. It's there, but it's very shallow pivoting. So. To tilt his head, it's a bit of a struggle, but it does tilt, and then you've got the side-to-side -side range of motion, of course, and I'm not sure if 
this head can be easily popped off to rebody, but I think I did see somebody on Instagram that um, had used these for body donors for their Ken dolls that didn't have bodies. So you can probably try it. You may have to heat it first. I'm not sure how easily the heads pop off. Um, this guy is the same complexion as our, who is it? Like the hip hoodie dude and Texas A&M Ken, um, the black version. So if you have dolls with that complexion, you should be okay with this body to don donate. And then as far as the other joints, we've got the typical arm joints here that do rotate um, in the shoulders. And then we have the elbow also rotates. And then we have the wrist joint. And then we have the waist here and the hips. There should be joints here so he can sit. And then knees, of course, so he can sit like an adult in a chair and not like a kindergartner. And we have the ankle joint which rotates to make it a little easier to get his clothes on and off because that's about all that joint does I don't really know what the function of it is to be honest they don't really need it but yeah that just makes it easier to get the clothes on so that's all his joints so he has the same level of articulation as a typical Barbie Ken doll and let's see what else can we look at his outfit the one he comes with in the box is a three piece so he's got on this red flannel top it does not have velcro or closures anywhere and i think it's a separate piece from his shirt yes it is that is awesome yes i love when the clothes come in layers because you can mix match with other stuff and i really like that this is a very plain white tee it's very typical urban style um you know, you know how we do. Black guys are really good at just getting plain stuff and then matching it up with different things to showcase and accessorize and just makes the whole outfit look good. But you can wear your shirts with almost anything due to the solid color. So I do like that. I feel like we lack this in Barbie world because everything has a print and it's so annoying trying to match things and make your dolls look like regular people, you know. Um, and then he's also got some plain jeans. So I am also feeling that the pants and the top, they both open with Velcro in the back, by the way. And the jeans, not really stretchy, but they don't necessarily have to be. But look it, there's some space, there's some room in here. So when he sits, we don't have that dreaded, you know, pop open effect in the back of the pants that we always get with Barbie um, clothing. So that is a relief because he can actually move in his pants. Look at this. Thank you, finally, goodness gracious. Is that so hard to do? Just a little bit of space in the pants. This is more realistic than this whole like skinny pants look. Holy moly, it's just not, guys, come on. All right, so we got a little bit of bagginess here, but it's not so much that his pants are just straight up sagging. So that's a good look. The shoes, uh, eh, eh, eh. The shoes need a little work. They're just plain, oh, solid red uh, sneakers with these weird dots all over them. Not sure that I'm feeling that. And the color is just so bright and like out there. I think they would have been better as just plain black sneakers. Cause I feel like if you're gonna put color in them, make them fancy, make them real fancy. But these just look plain to me. So I'm not really a big fan of the shoes. And I do like this top, but I'm really not a big fan of the flannel either. But it's a simple look. So you can use this top to mix match with other things for your other guy dolls. Let's try on this jacket, because I want to see how this looks on him. And the good thing about the flannel top that I took off of him, though it does not close, um, it is a short sleeve top, and I think that you can actually put this jacket over top of that too, so you can triple up the layers and kind of have that look going on, but I ain't trying to struggle with it right now, so let's just see how this looks on him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So that's how that fits. And I do feel like I see it's got kind of like a bomber effect going on with the cropped bottom. But to me, this cut is a little bit feminine looking. I'm not sure if I like it on him because it looks short at his waist. And I would like for the jacket to have come down almost as long as his shirt underneath. 
but it's not really fitting like that on him. All right, I'm trying to, I'm struggling, you guys. Oh, Lord. Here we go. All right, so that's how far it comes down. And that's how it looks on him. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments if you think this jacket is a good look. But to be honest, I probably will steal this jacket to put on one of the girls. Because uh, I think it will look good on a Kirby doll. To be honest. But it's it's A for effort. And um, it doesn't have any closures. So you do have to wear it open. It would be nice if it had like some hooks maybe to close it up a little bit. But I ain't going to worry about it. I, I like that there was an extra piece of you know, wardrobe in there that we can do something with, so it's not gonna go to waste. I just don't like the look on him. Maybe it'll look good on a different guy doll. All right, so that's basically the outfit. Now, he doesn't have any other accessories um, as far as like jewelry or anything like that. Watch, whatever, he doesn't have nothing like that. And his hair is braided, it's really long. And these are all individual braids that have been rooted into his head. And here I'll show you his scalp. So there's some patchiness here, but because the braids are very thick, I don't think you're gonna notice it. Because with hair like this, I mean, if it was, it, if those spaces were closed up more, it would be way too much. Like there'd be tons of hair on his head and it would probably look really crazy because it's already very full. Um, because the braids add more volume than if the hair was just rooted in by itself. And then I'm taking this braid out so we can see how much space there is here in his scalp at the top. At the front, oh, this is reasonable, okay. So that's okay. I was, I was nervous because I thought it would be a big giant bald spot right there, but it isn't. So we can shape his hair a little bit when I have some time to play with it. Now the texture of this hair, it is smooth and there is nothing at the bottom like sealing it in. Um, so I'm guessing this all these braids can be unraveled, but I would not suggest doing that because I can tell from the fiber that this is made from uh, It's not the kind of saran that Barbie doll hair is made with that is like it naturally is um, Tangle free this hair if it if some frizz Gets in the hair. It's going to just get like really matted and gross like you know like synthetic wigs Kind of like that like after a while they just start sticking together so this this fiber is kind of like that so if you keep the hair braided you should be able to go a long while with the hair being in this condition um it is very smooth but i can just tell from the feeling it's not that kind of texture so be careful with the hair if you want to change the hairstyles um a heat treatment maybe will set it so that it doesn't get all fuzzy but you know it is what it is but the doll I feel like this doll is um, the hairstyle is what really makes this one stand out um, I don't know about the really long box braids on a guy I feel like most guys I know with this length of hair it's usually in dreads so I don't know if it's easier to do the braided look versus the dreaded look as you know manufacturers but to see the hair dreaded would have been a little bit more realistic, I think. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, of, of course guys wear braids too, but I just don't see it that often, is what I'm saying. And here, when you look on the box, I just want to show you real quick some of the other characters. They do appear to have the same head sculpt. So this guy here, he's completely bald, and he has some facial hair. And then this guy has a little bit of facial hair, and he's got this little mohawk kind of thing going on um, with the long curls. I like that look too. So I do think they did a pretty decent job with their male characters. I feel like I'm a bigger fan of the male characters than the female characters. But I have not seen these dolls in any stores near me. So I'm really grateful that Tevin sent me this doll. Total surprise. Um, and now we're able to review it for you guys. So you can see what you're getting your hands on. And here's a closer look at his face up. So he's got really thick eyebrows. He has a smiling um, lips, but no teeth showing, which is a plus. Then we have some light facial hair thing going on, which of course, if you're not into that, you can erase with some alcohol, um, or not alcohol, with a nail polish remover and give him just the mustache or maybe just the goatee or none of it. <laughs> you just draw on your own facial hair if you want to. 
But I like the way he looks with the facial hair for now, so I'm going to leave him alone. And I don't think I'll be doing much customizing to this doll other than playing with his hair a little bit. Because I think he looks fine the way that he is. And I want to enjoy him the way that he is, at least for the time being. As far as the body, this is my only Fresh Dolls dude, and I don't want to risk messing him up. So I'm not going to experiment and try to pull his head off because I don't want to take them chances. If I come across one of these dolls somewhere, I'll probably get some extras just to test out. But at this juncture, I'm going to leave this one alone and leave it to you guys in the comments who already have experience um, beheading these dudes. Let us know in the comments if it is possible and how much work it was to get the head off. Can you just pop them off like Barbies? Or do you need to heat it and do the whole, you know, process, the whole surgery process like you have to do with integrity speaking of integrity i do have some stuff here that i want to show you guys just for comparison's sake this is what you get when you're watching the most detailed reviews <laughs> all right so we're gonna go a little above and beyond here so i have my doll adonis who is actually an integrity toys dude and he is a lot taller than this guy. Let's see. Let me do a side by side for you guys so you can see. Okay. Now, both of them have on shoes and they're standing right next to each other. There's a world of difference in their heights. Can you tell? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oops. Look at how different they are. And his head. I just realized his head is so different the way it's attached to the neck compared to Barbie Ken dolls and this guy. They have a little more like neck overlapping. Interesting. I always like looking at how the dolls are created. Similar and differences. Similarities and differences is what I meant to say. All right, and here he is next to my curvy doll. And she's on a Barbie curvy articulated body. And she has on some high heels, and this is the height difference. So y'all can see what they look like next to each other. And I do like that these Fresh Dolls guys, Fresh Squad I should call them. Um, well gee whiz. I like that they look good next to Barbie dolls. They don't look like such a huge difference in style I guess so you can really incorporate them into your collection very easily here he is next to Griselda who cutie Erica from Instagram sent to me and you guys can see her Instagram information on the screen go follow her she does reroutes she oh my gosh her photography is phenomenal okay she's really really good at styling her dolls very artistic and she makes her own doll clothes too. Guys, I mean, you know, when people make their own doll clothes, you can see the amateurness of it, but it's like, oh, well, good job. You know what I mean? Like when I try to make my own doll clothes, you know, it's like, oh, you did it. But it's not like, oh, you did it. No, Erica, she be doing it. Like if you would never know that she made all that stuff herself. So go and check out her page because it's so amazing and inspiring. But that's how tall she is next to him. And she also had on some heels. She's already a very naturally tall doll to begin with. So I wanted to, you guys to see the difference. And then here is my Barbie doll. She is on just a regular made to move body. And she is super short next to him. <laughs> she is also wearing flat shoes. So yeah, he's got like at least a half an inch on her. And height. So I hope that helps to give you guys a bit of a reference of the height of this doll. And okay, and then here's my broad pen doll, who I think I call him Chuck. Huck or Chuck, one or the other. I always be forgetting. <laughs> he could be both Huck and Chuck. Anyway, so Chuck Huck, um, next to Malik here. They're actually about the same height. I, in fact, I think Chuck's hairstyle makes him a little bit taller, but yeah, they're about the same height. So, and the body types 
because I'm gonna show you his body too. I'm gonna take all these clothes off so you can see and we'll do a comparison see if it's similar. But the broadness of his body looks almost the same as his. So I wonder if they might be able to exchange clothes because the broad Kens, they cannot fit into regular Ken clothing. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, especially the pants. So that is going to be interesting to see. All right, and then here is an actual Fresh Squad doll on her original body. And actually, Tevin sent me this doll too, which is, I believe her box name is Mia. Um, yeah, that's the height difference between the two dolls of the same brand on their original bodies. Interesting. She actually looks really short next to him. That's really interesting. Okay, so pretty cool. And Mia is actually my favorite of the Fresh Squad dolls, I mean the Fresh dolls that I have. Um, two of them were sent to me from the Fresh Dolls company to review and the video is up so you guys can watch that review if you haven't. And this one was sent to me by Tevin and I like her the best. So I tend to redress her and style her and display her a little bit more than the other two. But yeah, pretty neat. So let's do some clothing swaps. All right, so as I am undressing these guys, I'm noticing that uh, Chuck here is actually not on a regular broad body. He has joints. He's on a made-to-move body. And this is the Superman body from the Batman vs. Superman dolls. Um, so, yeah, he has a little bit more bulk than the average, like, fashionista with the broad body. But originally, he did have a broad body. And I do want to show you guys how Malik's torso compares. They're about the same length. And the width, he actually looks a little wider. Here, here they are from the back. And the arms, this guy's a little bit more um, bulkier. But it is similar in size. And then the lower body... Looks like this. He looks a little bigger in the hips and he's a little bit bigger in the thighs. And then here's the back. And here are the actual legs. Look how much bigger the Superman legs are. They're just huge. Yeah, and then the feet look about the same. So that's how they compare. I'm gonna see if we can swap their clothes. Okay, so here's how Chuck looks with Malik's outfit on and actually the pants fit him perfect like perfect you guys look at this and he's still got room in the legs and it is so hard to find pants that fit this guy without like just sticking to his skin because he's got huge legs see when I just bent him it didn't pop open in the back that's a awesome and then the shirt the white shirt underneath no struggles getting that on and this is his flannel shirt on top of that, and then his little jacket. Yeah, you look at how short the jacket is. Seriously. But I ain't gonna worry about it. Anyway, so all his clothes do fit him very well. And I'm really happy that I can use this outfit for him because I really want him to have clothes that look right on him. And the glasses also seem like they fit him a little bit better. They went on without any struggles, and they don't feel like they're gonna just pop off his face. So that's another plus. So he can actually keep his whole darn outfit. As far as the shoes, I'm sure that the shoes do fit. But when I tried to put it on his foot, I felt like I was struggling too hard to squeeze them in there. And I didn't want to risk breaking his like foot when I tried to take it out. So I didn't force it in. But I think that they will fit okay on other Ken dolls. I just didn't want to do it to his foot. Maybe the flat foot ones that don't bend will be better. Okay, so check this out. I actually have a shirt that says eh, eh, fresh on it. And this is actually an Integrity Toy shirt that I had purchased um, a while ago when I got my two Integrity Toys guide dolls. How appropriate that this shirt is, it's actually like fresh in the terms of Ebonics, you know, urban dialect fresh, which basically means dope. Um, and then here are some Barbie sweatpants that belong to uh, Ken. It's from one of the Ken fashion packs. And, I mean, they can go up higher, but I think he's going to look like a dork because his pants are, like, up his booty. But, yeah, I feel like guys always wear their sweatpants sagging, kind of. So I'm just going to leave it like that on him. But, anyways, 
That's how those look. And then he's wearing Ken's shoes, which I could get on his feet effortlessly. So I am glad to see he can fit some of the um, outfits that I have. I did get some new fashion packs for Ken, and I will add him and some other boys to a fashion show video with only the boys in it. We're going to feature some boys this time. So I'm excited to do that, and that will be coming soon. Oh, look at this. Guys, I didn't even know. Wow. Okay, so I put his head up here. I mean, I put his hair up in a ponytail. And actually, the whole back of his head has been painted to look like it's shaved. Wow, that was clever. That's a nice little touch right there. I did not even realize that was there. Shout out to Tevin once more. He is the bomb diggity. So I hope you guys learned something new from this review. Drop it in the comments if you have any questions. Answer each other in the comments, you guys. And um, I really appreciate everybody watching and supporting the channel. Thank you. And this is Gypsy. And I'm about to go because I got to get to work. We'll see you next time from Broken Dolly TV. Have a dolly day.